What is up YouTube? This is your boy Omelette bringing you another zombies tip for the transit beginner. In this episode I'm going to talk to you about how to turn the power on as well as the other things you can do in the science lab. So the first thing you want to do is drop down into the science lab. Then this corner here is one location to where you could find the circuit panel. That right there is one location to where you can find the hand. And then this is the other location where you can find the circuit panel. So you want to grab the circuit panel and attach it to your bench. So in order for this you're going to need the switch the hand and the circuit panel. So we're going to assemble the circuit panel first and then on the table to the left or the right, these two white tables are the two locations where you can find the switch. So we're going to pick up the switch and add the switch to the circuit panel and then if you turn on right behind you can find the hand on the ground right there directly in front of us. Um, so if you remember you can find the hand either at the entrance on, the, on this, the first white piece or at the second white piece right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the hand it's right to the left. Here. If I were to combine okay. this, and we're going to add the hand yes, to the piece which is the last piece that we have genius. left and then with that done uh, we'll turn it on and what you'll notice about the power and thing Marlton is said, it's, it's going to release this like electronic uh, like, like lightning sort of Tesla freedom. coil thing and what it does is it, it will hurt you and it will damage you relatively similar to the amount of damage that you're going to get from if you had stood in the file so uh, be careful going out there, I, I wouldn't do it but one of the bright things about turning on the power is that everything inside the science lab that would have required the turbine to use is now not required so if you remember in a previous episode I did, I said you can get out of the science lab by going through some steel doors uh, to the left of the workbench if you're facing the workbench. Um, now, the with the power on, you don't need it anymore, unpleasant. and you can just go straight up uh, the stairs, and you get brought to the second location. Now, in this location, um, there's the two paths you can take. Uh, the first path is the way I'm showing you now. You can jump over this crate, and if you go forward, what you do is you drop right back down to where you started, um, to where the outhouse is and where the bus can pick you up. Or you can go this way, you can drop down below, and what you're going to find is essentially uh, one way that the zombies can get in. So uh, once I clear them out, I'll show you two other slates. Okay, so it pretty much drops you right back to where we came from. So if you make a left, you go back towards into the science lab, you make a right, come back into this big room. Now, one thing that I like to do, um, if you have a lot of zombies coming your way, is I'll make sure they all see me on this side and then I'll hop back over to the other side and I will pick them off uh, one at a time mainly because they walk slow and secondly because they cannot hop the gap over to me and attack me so the only thing I'm going to have to worry about as long as I'm staying in this spot is the zombies that are coming up the ramp to my left near the workbench but at this point I know there's only a few left in this round and that they're coming directly at me so what I do is I hop over and I clear out the two here and then if you want to get back to the bus or back to the outhouse you just uh, drop straight down and then you can't go to the left and you can't go forward the only place you can go is, is to the right and that gets you right back to where we started so uh, once again hopefully you enjoy these tips um, I'll have a few more coming again next time and thank you so much for stopping by